Live. So to get started on, we're going to start our USA map, and the purpose of this assignment is going to be to teach you guys basically how to add elements, very basic elements to Tinkercad from the community files. And then also, this is the big deal, is to pr position them very, very exactly. Look, if you're a person who likes to just throw stuff out and say, eh, close enough, this assignment is not going to work for you. If you go step by step and be methodical about each state that you put out and you adjust it before you go on to the next one and you listen to these tips that I'm going to show you, you're going to get it done exactly. Mr. Woodchick is not just grading it based on, oh, do they have 50 states? No, no, no. I'm actually grading it. Do they have all of the states put together exactly? So if you're just going to do it close enough, you might as well skip the assignment and get a zero right now because this one's going to be graded on absolute precision. Okay, so that's the big deal here. And we're going to learn how to adjust our snap grids, which means, if you've noticed uh, before, that when you move it, every time you move it, it moves by a whole millimeter. That won't work for this assignment. So we're going to uh, learn how to change some things in there and settings that are pretty important. Okay, first of all, let's go to create a new design. If you're already on the lessons, you'll need to go to all designs and then create a new design. It takes a second for Tinkercad to load. Remember, everything's on the internet. It's all in the cloud. Hey, look at this. Tinkercad automatically assigns a really dumb name, like Cool Boro. Borwo. Uh, who knows what that means, all right? So what you're going to do instead is you're going to go, instead you're going to go to Properties. And the first thing you need to do is to put your name. So I'm going to put my name. Jeremy W. USA map. So whatever your name is, you put yours here. You can keep this private and don't worry about the license. This is just for our assignment. We're actually not going to create anything too original here, although we will be doing a few things for this. So let's go ahead and save this. Now you have four days to work on this map. Let's do this. Let's do this for pacing, first of all. I know that I always liked it when the teachers, when I had a big, huge assignment, when the teachers broke it down into chunks and I could tell about how far I should be every day, that helped me. Let's go 50 states, and we're going to divide that by four days. The answer is 12 and a half. Do you know what that means? That means is if, you, if every day in class, now the first day is going to be the slowest because you're new at it, but if you average 13, if you round it up to 13 states every day, you'll get done with this project easily on time by Friday. Okay? Just, just That's just a little information if you like to help pace yourself. Uh, we're going to, first of all, we're going to close geometric. This is called collapsing and expanding. We're not really deleting anything. We're just showing, we just don't want to look at it. We want to go to shape generators and close the Tinkercad. You need to go down to community. So shape generators and community. What the interesting thing about community is, is those are modules that were created by people, people that didn't work for Tinkercad necessarily. Okay. Now listen. Every time this changed a little bit, because Tinkercad bases these, their, their rank on here, it's based off of popularity, and it looks like ours is not in the first page. You see that? Let's go to the second page of stuff. Nope, it's not there. There's only eight per page. We're going to keep looking until we find the USA map, or the United States States, I believe it's called. Let's keep going. And sometimes it's, it's getting to be a little bit further. Okay. Looks like we have part of it. Last time it was about page seven. But again, if it's if it's more or less popular, that might have changed. So you're just going to have to kind of look through here. Look at all these things. That be, oh, hey, look at this. Page seven. See where it says U.S. States by David Reeves? Right over here. Okay, so we're going to just click on that one. And we're just going to drag one out. Okay, now if you're like Woodchick, I know the map of the U.S. if I see it, but I don't have it completely memorized every bit of it. So what you're going to do now is go to the top, and you see this other little button here? You can make another browser tab. Now, did we see how it's cool is that you didn't delete the old tab. It's still there. So you can switch back and forth between these. And in this one, what you're going to do up in the search bar is you're going to type in USA map. And what this is going to give us is a reminder of exactly how the United States looks. So if you, you know, if you don't know exactly how the US looks, 
What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Images now. And I'm going to click on this one. This one looks like a pretty good map. And then I'm going to go to View Image. And then i got to wait. Some of these ones, when you click on View Image on them, they're just not going to work because the website is blocked by the school district. If, you, if that happens to you, I don't know, that might be happening to me. This is taking forever. Well, that's okay. That one doesn't want to load, so let's just load this one. Holy moly. Reset my zoom. And now I have a USA map that's really easy to read. I like this one a lot because you can really, really read this very clearly. Okay, so I'm going to look at Washington. Now, the first thing is, is that what we want to do, since, I, since we live up here, I always, and, and, and it's, in, it's in the upper corner, it's in the upper left, I always like to start with our state, Washington. So what we're going to do is, first things first, you're going to grab, click this state. You guys, do me a favor. This assignment, don't rotate them at all, okay? They're already rotated to fit together perfectly. If you rotate it a little bit, it's not going to fit together anymore. So don't rotate. Just grab a state and drag it out. Hey, you guys, every state starts out as New York. Don't worry. So what you need to do is you, you click on the state and then see this special stuff comes up. And we're going to change this from New York. Now, the problem with this is it's hard to see. You have to kind of click this. You can go up and down. And then you have to actually drag this one also. And you go down. Hey, there it is. And you click Washington because that's our state. Okay, now it's Washington. It looks like it's tilted, doesn't it? But look at how Washington is on the map. Isn't it tilted there too? Yeah, so, so that's, that's perfect. Don't mess with the rotation and don't mess with the size. Hey, you guys, we don't need to move this except in the upper corner. So you can just drag it up there, okay? Hey, this is really a good feature. In the future, once you get a state in the right place, do you want to spend all your time redoing everything on it? No. So you're going to lock, see this button right here? It says lock transformation. See what happens now is when I click on it, there's a border around it. And no matter what I do, I can't drag this around or move it. Because look, it's easy. It's too easy other times to move something that's already in the right place. OK, so now that we have Washington locked in, let's take a look at our map. We have to go. Let's go to the next state. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use uh, Idaho next, OK? So we're going to go. Now look, watch what we do. We drag out another one. Oh, no, it's New York, but they always start as New York. We're going to click here, go down a bit, and we're going to go to Idaho. Okay, so there's Idaho. Now, you guys, this is where you have to watch. This is the most important part of the video. Every year I do this lesson. I've done this every class I've had. And guess what? Almost always there's about five kids in the class who don't even listen to this part. And it's totally the part that makes this assignment work. If you don't do this, your whole map is going to be screwed up. And you have to start from the very beginning. Listen, watch the problem. When I look very carefully, and remember, Woodchick said, I'm going to be real picky about this. So I drag it with my mouse. And remember, every time I drag it somewhere, it moves up a minimum of a, of a millimeter. Hey, is that right up here? Is that, those are supposed to be lined up perfectly. Is that right? No. So let's go over one. That's not right either. Look at how they overlap. Okay, let's go one the other. Wait a minute. Now there's a big gap. Let's go down and over. Now it's not lined up either. Do you know why? Because to get this lined up, one millimeter at a time is too much. You know, one millimeter is tiny, but on this program, it's just too much. So watch what we're going to do. We're going to edit our grid so that the grid doesn't move by one. It moves by 0.1. So it's going to be 10 times as accurate of a grid. So here's how you do that. You go down to Snap Grid, and you change it to 0 0.1. You might have to do that each time your document loads up. Some people have had that problem. Now I'm going to zoom in, and I can use my arrow keys to nudge it. Use your arrow keys. Once you get it close, use your arrow keys to go exactly where you want it. OK, that's looking pretty good. Nope, now there's a gap. You know what? I'm looking at it, and I'm looking very carefully. Look at all these little lines. Look how they're lined up perfectly. To show you what it would look like if it wasn't lined up perfectly, you'll see these little gaps, or you'll see overlap. So that looks pretty good to me. And when I click off it, it still looks great. Hey, guys, I don't want to touch Idaho again. Let's give it another color. I don't care what color, just a different color. And then what are we going to do? How do we make it so that it doesn't change? We lock transformation. And then guess what? What do you think I'm going to do next? 
Yeah, how many people have been to Oregon before? Portland. Okay, there you go. Vancouver's in Washington, but it's almost over there. Um, so let's go to Oregon next. Okay, same thing as before. Grab New York. It always starts as New York. You go down and you change it to Oregon. And then you drag it over until it's really close. And then you zoom in and we're going to use our nudge keys. And those are the arrow keys. Nudging means you just give it a tap just a little bit at a time. Hey, do you see this, this little gap here? Keep an eye on these bends in the, I think that's the Snake River. I might be wrong about that. Oh, and that looks pretty good. If I go further, you can start to see some overlap, right? So I'm getting it right there. That's pretty darn good. How do I know it's good? Well, look at the bottom, actually. That is a little bit off, but I don't think I can get it much better. Yeah, I'm going to go with that one. Okay, what do we do? Give it a different color other than, than the two other ones around it, and then you lock the transformation. Now, listen, I just did three of them on this video. What you need to do is just keep building and keep building. So after this one, I'm going to put in Montana, Wyoming, Utah, Nevada, and California. Then I'm going to expand out. I'm going to put in Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado, Nebraska, South Carolina. And eventually, guess what's going to happen? You're going to run out of states, and you'll have this assignment done. Remember the pacing for the assignment before you get started. 50 divided by four days gives you 13 of these that you need to do every day. The first day, if you get it behind, that's okay, but you should be able to get caught up because you'll become a pro at this on the next few days. Hey, if you have a bunch of gaps in this, I'm simply going to tell you you get a zero or you have to redo it. What's the key to this assignment? You have to remember after you do the first state, who cares where the first state is, it can go anywhere. But after Washington, you need to make sure you switch to the point one snap grid and then use your arrow keys to get it exactly where you want to. Hey, good luck on this assignment. And as always, uh, use the video to your advantage. That means you pause it when you can and you do what I do and then you unpause it to do the rest. Now, just because I stopped at, at Oregon in this assignment, in this video, I want to make it extra clear. You need to keep going and do the rest of the United States map. When you get to Alaska and Hawaii, you can put those on the side because they're actually not connected to Washington or any of the other states. Those are called continental states, whereas Alaska and Hawaii are not connected to the United States. You guys are a great audience. Thanks for listening.